hello friends welcome to devops tutorial and in this video lecture we are going to explain a simple devops project using node.js application so we are taking a source code from the github repository for our demo purpose so let's understand this architecture here that we have created suppose if any developer push their changes into the github repository so jenkins will trigger a build with the help of jenkins pull scm so once a build will be generated we are creating a one compressed file that all the changes and they deploy into the ec2 and in our ec2 server we have the docker files and we have write some script there that copy all the files that we deploy into the ec2 after the extract and create a custom image and that custom image once the custom image is created we are going to create a containers so this is the complete process that we are going to explain in this project so let's start this so before starting the project let's understand the steps so it is very easy to understand how the flow will go on so first we have to install the node.js into our ubuntu machine so below are the commands like sudo apt get update after the update we have to command a sudo apt get install node.js and then we have to install npm then the command is sudo apt install npm then last we have to check the version of node.js so this is the first steps then the second step is in jenkins we have to download the publish our ssh plugins that is required to communication between our server like if you want to deploy your var file jar file that that, that time this is required so here we have provide the server name host name host name is ip address and the username so username uh, like suppose example if you're using ec2 ubuntu so the username will be ubuntu or if you're using the ec2 linux so the username will be ec2 linux is there so after that one we have to create a freestyle project and in that freestyle project we have to provide the git repository and webhook ur connection we can use these things and in build section we have to follow this command npm install this is used to download the all the dependency and npm test is to perform the all the test case executions so once this will be completed we have to generate one tar file tar.gz file that is this one and in that uh, gz file we have to copy all these modules like node underscore modules index.js package.json and public folder and app.json so all this file will be present in our node tar.gz after the build we have to post build action in the post build action we have to define this gz files because this file we have to send our ubuntu server so after this command we have to exe in section we have to follow this process like we have to copy our uh, node file to our current directory we have to go to the, our current directory then we have to extract the gz files then if already we have present the node image then we have to remove that one then we have to stop the container then we have to remove the existing running container and we have to create a new image with these changes the latest changes that we get from this gz files and after the custom image will be created we have to start a container with port number 5001 so these are the docker files that we are executing in this command so here we are downloading the latest node.js from the docker hub repository mentor and name you can define any here copy all the files that present in our current directory and define your work directory here and run npm install it will uh, install all the dependency then expose the pod and entry point so this is the NP entry point of your npm start so whenever the container will be start this command will be executed so this is the process let's go to the jenkins and create this all these steps one by one so guys we are in the jenkins now and the first step is download the ssh publish our ssh plugin so this plugins is already installed so but for your site you have to go to the manage plugins available and search publish our ssh 
so this is already installed in my machine so it will be available in here as such we can see here publish our SSH plugins so you have to install these plugins after the installation you have to go to the manage Jenkins option and here configure system and here you have to define your private key that you are getting from the when you are creating the EC to that time you are getting the PAM file from that you can generate a private key and in SSS server section you have to define the name host name username and remote directory so after fill this information you have to click apply and save and create a new freestyle project so the project name is node okay and description if you want to provide this is node.js ci cd pipeline and discard the old builds because we have the limited storage in my machine and in git source management system you have to provide the git repository so we have our git repository present is here just copy the url this is the public url and uh, then after that one we have to click on github hook trigger for git pull scm then build environment we have to define the delete workspace before start the build and in this build section we have to click execute shell command and uh, we can go to the, our document and copy all the commands here the npm install this command is used to install all the dependency for the node.js project then npm test this is used to execute all the test cases that present in node.js project once this two command will be executed we have to create a tar.gz file in that file we have to copy this node modules index.js package.json public folder and app.json so all these modules will be present in our this file gz file and in post build action we have to publish our publish to ssh plugins is there here okay so we have the send build to artifact ssh and the source file we have to define is dot gz we will just copy the format here okay the next is we have to execute the shell command so we have copy this command so this command is used to copy the .gz file in our current directory and uh, go to it to that directory so we are moving the directory the next command is extract the gz file and after that one we have to uh, remove the docker image that if the image is already present in my machine and uh, after that one we have to stop the containers if it is if the container is already running and we have to remove the container because we are going to create a fresh container so docker remove container this is the command to remove the container then create a new image from that extract file and start a container okay so this is the setting we have done in jenkins side click and apply and save so this is the complete setting we have done for the node.js project now go to the github repository so we are in the github let's go to the setting so in this section we are going to set up a webhook 
and uh, here add webhook and go to the documentation so this is the uh, process that we have to add the webhook so here we have to define the IP address so the, this is our IP address and just paste it here so the webhook is added so the webhook will be uh, add on for all event okay so let's go to the Jenkins now and create a build so this is for just checking that the build is working fine or not it will generate all the dependency that we have required to create a CI CD so here npm that install is okay so here we are getting the error because of SSH connection the issue is we have to update the latest IP address in our Jenkins so go to the Jenkins section manage Jenkins then configure system because whenever we restart the machine the IP address will be changed so this is the issue because of this now again go to the node build now now we can see here again the npm will be installed and uh, okay here we are getting one more error okay so this is because of retrieve permission so let's go to the node.js server so terminal here ssh and go to that server and we are getting the log we are getting this file have not permission so we have ch sudo ch mode triple seven and we have to provide this permission and we can see here the location that we are going to execute our docker file so here we have defined our docker file is there that what all the instruction that we are execute once the build will be generated okay so let's go here and uh, go back to the project build now again so we can see npm install is working okay so here so build is success but we are getting one more error here the mv command is not found this location so the issue is that we have not defined this location in our configuration setting so for that one we have to go to the project configure and uh, here we have to provide this location in ssh publish our ssh plugins so we have provided this location and click on apply and save so let's build now <coughs> so the build is trigger here so it will execute the same process npm install install the all the dependency that we are required and uh, here it's working fine the mv command that found the node node.tor.gz file and that copy into the our destination location and uh, we'll go to the destination location extract the tar all these steps we have done and after that one it will start a container and open the port 5001 okay <clears throat> so it's success the build status is blue means it's success let's go to the terminal docker ps so we can see here our node image that is up and running it's working fine docker images we can see here docker images so we can see here this is our docker image that we have created just now and uh, let's go to the browser and check this is working fine or not so for that one we have to copy this url and we have to export the port is 5001 so here we are getting the message hello testing devops node.js project pipeline so this is working fine so let's do these things from trigger a build so uh, we'll go to the node.js project 
index file and uh, we have to change this message pipeline notches project hello how are you <coughs> and uh, actually the problem is that we have uh, restarted the system so we have to again change the IP address into the webhook URL so go to the edit section and change this URL here okay so it will work fine now then go to the again index.js change the project configuration here changing the text hello how are you welcome for devops project okay and commit the changes so once we commit the changes it will trigger a build in jenkins so we can refresh here we can see here the build number 13 is triggered and if we go here the build 13 is started <coughs> so we can see here the last commit changes is update the index.js file so build is finished so let's go to there and we can see here the message is up updated so this is the process that we have created a simple devops project using node.js application and in this project we have used docker ec2 and jenkins so thank you guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming video